It's the day after Thanksgiving and the sun is beginning to rise over Montecito. The crisp morning air carries the scent of fresh dew and blooming flowers. And all is quiet in the main house of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, where Prince Harry and Meghan and their guests are still fast asleep. On the west side of the estate, tucked away in their enchanted mini castle, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibeth are still asleep, but there is some chatter or commotion, it seems. Such commotion awakes Princess Lilibeth. Oh, what is that noise all about? What's going on? Is that Matteo and Naomi? Why are they not in bed? Oh, Archie, Archie, Archie. While Princess Lilibeth tries to wake up her brother, now the grown-ups are still dreaming of pumpkin pie and leftover turkey. Something magical is already unfolding in the little castle of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibeth. Today is no ordinary day. It's a day for adventure. Now fully awake, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibeth left the room and went into the hallways where they met their friends, Matteo and Naomi, having a discussion. Princess Lilibeth said, What's the matter? What's going on? Matteo? Naomi? Matteo looked a little bit distressed and he said well this morning I I, I, I I went looking for the golden wish balloon and and it wasn't there it's it's gone Prince Archie looked almost excited he goes it's gone you mean like someone took it I don't know it's just not there anymore, said Matteo. Well, if it's not there anymore, that means that someone took it. That means we must go find it. Yes, adventure, adventure. Lily asked, what's, what's the golden wish balloon? Naomi said to her, well, the golden wish balloon is a really magical balloon. It's where you make wishes, you write what you want, and good things happen. Remember yesterday when we were having dinner and everyone wrote the things that they were thankful for, and then they also wrote the things that they wish for. If we don't find the balloon and take it to the festival of the golden wish balloon then no one's wish will ever come true oh no that's terrible said princess Lilibeth Prince Archie looked at his sister and said Lily Lily 
It's adventure time! Let's do it! Archie, we can't go dressed like this. We can't have an adventure like this. We must have our adventure attire on. Okay, whatever. Let's just do it. Now the four friends were dressed for adventure. They were ready. They dashed out of the castle, ran towards the forest. Following the bluebird. The bluebird that chirped and chirped and chirped. And somehow Matteo understood what the bluebird said. The bluebird had seen this golden balloon go into the enchanted forest. So the four, with all their energies and pride awake, ran towards the enchanted forest. And once in the enchanted forest, the blue bird disappeared. Matteo stopped. Where, where is the, the, the where, where is the bird? Where is the, do you see the bird? Does anyone see the bird? Over there. Over there, said Archie. It's there, by that tree. Oh look, there's some shiny stuff there too. What could it possibly be? Could it be part of the balloon or maybe it's the balloon, said Naomi. The four started to run over to that area of the forest. As they got closer, they realized with such disappointment that it was not the balloon, but it was at least a clue because those were the ribbons that kept the balloon bounded to the earth oh what excitement after all they know for sure now that they are on the right path because the balloon definitely passed through here the bluebird began to chirp and chirp it was saying something and Matteo's face became sad and sadder. What could it possibly be? Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Bluebird. At least you were able to bring us this far. I guess we will... We will go the rest. Um, thank you so much. You've been of great help to all of us. It seems like Bluebird had to say goodbye. Bluebird is only allowed up to this side of the forest. Bluebird is not allowed to go beyond the lake. They all said goodbye to Bluebird as Bluebird flew high, high up into the sky and disappeared. The four friends just stood there, staring at the lake, almost hypnotized by the multicolored tree. And then, Naomi said, Um, I don't feel right about this. I think we should turn back. Archie responded with a, Naomi, don't worry. We will find a way. I know there is a way. Let me think. I've got to think. Maybe we should swim over. How about that? And at that point, Princess Lilibet said, Um, I don't think we will need to swim. There is some thing coming out from the water. What is that? Oh yeah, the 
Go ahead and tell them. Go, go, go. Encourage Mateo. I believe the answer is dreams. Um, uh, because, um, dreams are experiences that, um, happens in, in, in your mind while you're asleep. And you can hold them, um, you can hold on to them, um, in your memory or thoughts, they they're not physical. Um, you you can't you can't touch it. Is 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 it dreams? Um, also, pe pe people often describe holding onto a dream or or aspiration in a in in a metaphorical sense. Is it is it right? Four of them were so excited and jumped for joy and happiness. They got it. They got the answer. Well, Lily got the answer. It was so great. And they continued to celebrate, not realizing that the lake was changing. Matteo turned to Lily and asked, Lily, how did you figure it out so quickly? That was really, really fast. Lily smiled and then responded. Well, mommy always tells us to dream. Dream big and, and small and to never give up. Even when it's hard work, she says our dreams are like, are like stars guiding us through darkest nights and that we should hold on to them with all our might no matter how tough the journey gets she reminds us that every big dream starts with believing believing in ourselves and taking the very first steps so I just remembered everything that mommy tells us about dreams. That was really great, Lily. Thank you, Archie. As they turned to face the lake, they realized that it had transformed. Now, there were two bridges, two places, two ways to go. Which one will they choose? 
Naomi then said, Oh my, what, what, what should we do? There, there are three bridges for us to choose from. Three? I don't see three, I see two, said Matteo. Naomi quickly said, Well, there are three. One to your right, one to your left, and that one in the middle. Do you not see it? Oh! Wow! I didn't see it. That's amazing, Naomi, said Archie. Yeah, that's really incredible. Which one should we take? How about we separate? Maybe the two of you can go together and Matteo and I will go together and then we can meet up again. At which point Naomi said, I watch a lot of scary movies and that's how things go really, really bad. When people separate, I am not separated. We should all stay together. Lily reinforced that thought. I agree with her. At this point, they heard someone clear in their throat. <clears throat> I am here to help you. I am here to guide you. I have the wisdom as to which path you should take. But first, you must provide me with the right answer. Here is the riddle. I can be strong or fragile, held within your heart. A spark that ignites when you decide to start. Though time may pass, I do not age. I grow in the mind bold or sage what am i that keeps you believing and turns your setbacks into achieving what's the answer once you provide me the answer if it's correct i will tell you the truth if it's wrong i will fly away They all looked at each other and repeated the riddle, trying to figure it out. And then Archie shouted, Love! It's love! It's love, isn't it? It's love! Why do you think it's love? Well, well, love, it's like, it keeps you strong, right? Um, it also is about caring deeply for others and, um, uh, oh, maybe it's not, because the riddle does say that it's strong and fragile. I don't know. How about courage? Said Naomi. Courage? Yes, courage. Because courage is like, you have to... It, it, it helps you to move forward and courage is about being brave and, and, and you're able to oh oh maybe it's not because it does say you, it can be strong and fragile oh though so time passes I don't know I don't know I, I think it might be hope. What? Hope. I think it might be hope. 
said Matteo. Why? Why do you think it's hope? Well, you know, hope is, is a feeling. It's a feeling you have when, when you want something good to happen, even if things aren't easy. Hope is like the little light that stays on when you're scared of the dark. It, it, it makes you think, you know, like it, it, it makes you keep believing. Hope makes you continue to believe. The group looked at each other. It seemed like a possible answer. It seemed like the best one thus far. So they agreed. Their answer would be hope. And hope it was indeed the correct answer. Now they celebrated for a quick second and off they went on the path that the wise owl told them to go on, on their adventure to find the golden wish balloon. After crossing the lake, the children were not sure where they were. It seemed different. The trees seemed different. They are in a land, a place that not everyone can see. We've been walking now for over an hour and this is not exactly what I thought ever light would look like. We haven't seen not even one fairy or like a unicorn or anything. Matteo, can you please check again the note that Bluebird left you? Are we going in the right direction? I've checked it already, Lily. We are going in the right direction. Um, we just have to look out for a door. It's called the Door of Destiny. I know I'm tired too. Um, I'm sure it should be somewhere around here. And not even two seconds had passed. Archie yelled, There is the door! There is the door! Yes! 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 Welcome, brave children. To proceed, each of you must answer a question that will test the strength of your friendship and your ability to imagine beyond the ordinary. Answer truthfully and the door shall open. Prince Archie, if Naomi could create any magical creature, what would it be? Well, I hope I'm right, says Archie. Naomi would create a giant gentle dragon that would sing songs and make everyone happy. She always talks about wanting to bring smiles to people's faces. That is correct. Naomi, if Matteo could invent a new world, what would it look like? Oh, I know for sure. Matteo would invent a world where um, entirely of candy, where the rivers are chocolate and the mountains are marshmallows. He loves sweets and always says it would be the best place to explore. Am I right, Matteo? That is correct. Matteo, what does Princess Lily dream of doing if she could make anything possible with her imagination? Well, Princess Lily dreams of creating a magical school where all the children, like all of them, all the children of the world could learn how to talk to animals and take care of nature. She loves animals and always wants to protect them. Right, Lily? Correct. Princess Lily, if Prince Archie could give everyone in the world one special power, what would it be? My brother 
would give everyone the power to fly. He he says it would make people feel free and, and happy, like nothing could ever hold them down or hold them back. And they could see each other from far above and that from far above we all look really tiny and we're all the same. You have proven the strength of your friendship and your ability to imagine without limits. You may now proceed. The children were so happy and excited. They jumped and laughed and rejoiced because they are true friends. They know each other. And the door opened and this glittery, shiny, beautiful passageway towards Everlight. Oh, how exciting. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. It's the... It's the... Oh...